So the first step that you're going to want to do is turn your camera to setup. Now it's going to turn on and it's going to ask you to put your memory card in. Right, after your memory card in is in, if you hit mode here, You can go through and select. Uh, this is where you would set up your time, the amount of pictures you wanted to take and how fast of intervals, whether you wanted to select uh, photos, videos. So here I have it set on photo. If you were to click, you can go and set it to a video or a photo and video where it'll take photos first and then record a video. This would be your video length. You choose the length of the video that you want as well as the PR, PIR interval, which is how fast or how many pictures it'll take in between. So from the time it takes the first picture, I have it set to 20 seconds. So 20 seconds after it would take another photo. And it's really, really simple. Once you have everything together, click back out of mode, okay? And you literally would just turn your camera on. It's gonna give you a countdown, okay? Once your countdown hits zero, your camera deactivates. Now it's still on, it just deactivates to save battery. Now what would happen now is, when right now it's actually taking photos. So once you have everything set, you would close your camera back up. 
whether you strap it to a tree, a post, anything like that, that's entirely up to you. Now this camera is also, also has Wi-Fi capability. Um, so you'd have to download the app on your phone, go through, everything is in the instruction manual. You would go through your Wi-Fi, connect it to your Wi-Fi, and you could actually, from the app, go on your phone and look at live video and live pictures that it's taking. So if you know if you're sitting somewhere if you're actually hunting or whatever the case may be watching over animals um you can go and you know it'll it'll send you an alert to your phone where you could actually go and check in on everything Yeah.